I'm going to flat this hand so that Jabron 3 bets it, Crisis Lord calls, and I'm going to 4 bet it. We have, we have some very good 3-6 action here with the boy Jared Blesnick dropping down to 3-6 because he's probably too bored. It's just, we put on the Rudd good armor, so we, we might as well use it, you know? That's a good flop. I'm going to check raise. This is what we want to see. Cool. Uh, we get it in good. We just need no 10, which we have blocked. So it's literally just no 10, no one outer. Love to see it. Love to see it. I'm going to get off these other tables. This is why you play these games. Just get it in pre, ace five, 10, 10, one suit. Probably going to be three bet here. So Munker does this weird thing when somebody's three betting this much and starts four betting these hands. See? Uh, no four or king. Wow. The king den deuce three. You hate to see it. Well, at least we played it correctly, chat. This game is going to this game is going to be a fucking ruckus fest for as long as Jabron is here. This is a good hand. I'm not going to four bet it, though. I'm just going to call it, you know, try to see a flop. One heart in our hand. Thank you, sir. May I have some more? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, three, six, six, seven. I like. I really like the way you play this hand. I can't talk. Just in case he's watching, I can't really talk about what I'm doing and why right now. Sorry. I like my chances in this game. I just gotta keep playing it. That's a good hand. It's a good flop. Good turn. I think he had nothing. He confirmed had nothing. When they have nothing, you gotta let them bluff at it. Had nothing. Getting it in here. Oh, kings versus queens. There's no queen. Still no queen. Love to see it. Uh, turn to six here. He had nine deuce. Easy raise. Ooh, we have higher clubs. Did they make a straight? No, we win. This is, I, I won't normally be four betting seven, eight, jack, 10, double, but against this, somebody who's three betting three, five, jack, seven, single suit, you gotta just, you gotta just, Duff him with value. This is a hand that I'm going to 3-bet and get in. We are going with it. We're going all the way, chat. Good luck, us. Oh! oh. <laughs> Queen? Well, things get really funky when someone's playing this aggressively deep. Um, this is probably where Jabron makes a lot of money, is people not knowing how to adjust when they get really deep against him, which is why he plays this high variance style. Um, but there's some things you can do, you know? There's some ways you can finagle. Definitely raising this. The snap raise chat? Did I just, wait, am I, am I are my eyes deceiving me? Is, did this hand, wait, hello? Hello, let's let us let us let new Jabez soothe this, this human soul. 
I think he needs it. Rips the turn? Oh no! It's because I didn't have a spade in my hand shot. And that means he's barreling with spades. Block the straight. Block the sets. Ooh, some nice set over set action. Oh, probably spice things up a little bit. I like Jabron at the 100 big buy range anyways. It makes his preflop mistakes way worse. I don't want these games to fill up. I want them to stay like three handed. These kings don't play well enough to four bet. Good to have on a calling winch. Baby, get to four bet this. I love how I already know I get to like, it's not even, oh, this is a three betting hand. It's like, I get to four bet this. It's 2021. Okay. Okay. No six. Cool. <laughs> love to see it. Uh, call here. I'm gonna call one bet. I can't call that turn, unfortunately. All right, chat, just because it's a special occasion, we're gonna sit 510. But I'm not gonna give too many buy-ins here. Like if I, if I, if I hit some adverse variants, I will not be continuing just because it takes a lot of more emotional energy. This is a good hand. I'll three bet this hand. Let your brown four bet for us. Mr. Foodles will fold. I can see the future. They both call, that's fine too, but I don't see him calling. I see him four betting. Yeah. See? We have a higher flush draw. No five. Do we win? We have a straight. He does play the. Yeah, dude, I play when I play him at. Blez and I play quarter 50, uh, and when I play quarter 50 with Blez, this is how he plays. Uh, yeah, this isn't advertising, this is literally how he plays poker. Do y'all like that I was a future teller, by the way? I can see the see the, see the the future. All right, I'll tell y'all this. The most buy-ins I've ever won in a heads-up session was at 10-20 against Blez. I won 30 buy-ins against him playing 10-20 in one session. That was a very fun day. <laughs> He's also beaten me for like 20 buy-ins at 1020 before. So it is very much a like, it, 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 it goes both ways, especially against him, right? Like you're just gonna be getting in it so often that if you're running bad, you're you're gonna get whacked as we've seen in, on this stream. I'm gonna flat this hand so that Jabron three bets it, Crisis Lord calls and I'm gonna four bet it. And then if he four bets, I just fold. Hopefully he goes all in instead of just calling so that Crisis Lord folds. No, not just call. <laughs> Hopefully no one has a six. We have to just rip it. Whew. It is fun. Like, these games are really interesting, right? Because I literally can tell what's going to happen. Like, that's how constructed this is. And when you can tell what's going to happen, I'm sure you can figure it out. It's a very good advantage for being a poker player. If you know how things will play out, you can construct them how you want to. You can't control how the cards come out, but you can control the system. Uh, I think this is good enough, actually. Sure. Oh, we have the best hand. 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. It's a good hand. Do we want to 4-bet this is the question? No. I just have to try to make him bluff there. He probably has complete air. Confirmed to have complete air. Appreciate y'all for being here. How much did we, we probably lost? Lost about a grand today. But given, given that session, given the 3-6 session we were playing, I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, I will be back maybe Friday, maybe tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. For sure Monday, uh, same time slot, around 5. Pretty much as the upswing stream is ending, my stream will be starting. Um, for those of you that came over, you know, we're, we're promoting my new course, the Upswing Poker Launchpad. For those of you that want to learn the basics of PLO, that's what I made the course for. Uh, it's, if, you have a, if you're transitioning from a limit, if you've been thinking about it, that's what it's there for. Um, but anyway, I appreciate all of you for being here. It's been a really fun stream and there's more to come. Have a good night.